Well, welcome to the city. It's an absolutely ace place to be. You will have chosen this for good reason, for the vibrant nightlife as well as uh, the brilliant studying facilities. Manchester has really changed over the last 10 years. It's gone from strength to strength culturally and economically. It's a really safe place to be. Only last year we cut burglary by over 40% working with the university and your good selves. But please remember that over half our burglaries are down to insecurities. It is literally students leaving windows and leaving doors open. Don't make yourself a victim of crime. Help us to help you. When I arrived at university, I, like my main feeling was uh, excitement, obviously a little bit of nerves. I live in quite a small little village, so it was really cool to be coming to a city. I was obviously nervous. New city, didn't quite know what to expect. I was very excited about starting a new course um, in a new city at a new university and meeting lots of new people. I'd urge students to make the most of the time in Manchester and while they're out and about studying or going home they'll often see police officers walking around in fort or going around in cars, PCSOs especially yeah, and I'd urge them to go and speak to them, to ask them about Manchester, where's safe to go late at night, uh, which areas perhaps they should avoid and they will help them, you know, build a relationship with us, engage with us, uh, we're here to help. The thing as a parent that concerns me most about my daughter going to university is her safety and, and moving away from home. But on one hand you've got them, the, you want them to have fun and to experience, have a great experience as well at university but I think you're also very aware of their own personal safety as well while they're there. When she is out and about to sort of keep her belonging safe and try not to look like a victim. The student will get so, only so much from the parents but I think once they start to hear it from people who are actually involved in the cities where they're actually going, especially the police, I think that's when they'll get a much better idea about what to do and what not to do. Well I guess like, you're always aware of crime, like you know it's uh, like something that happens but you just always, you never really think it will happen to you. I'd never been a victim of crime and I'd never been that aware of it because it had never been a threat. You sort of know about the basics of crime around and what you need to do to prevent and be safe around a city. My parents had said things but I wasn't really listening. When I was burgled, like my sort of initial reaction was like complete, uh, just couldn't believe it. I was quite surprised by it and um, quite upset because it was my laptop stolen. I was gutted <laughs> when, my, when I found my bike was stolen. Annoyed, uh, quite angry about it really, purely just because of what I had to go through to sort it all out. I was really shocked and upset. Because it happened in my place of study, um, it made me not really want to go back very much. So it affected my, because I'm a music student, it affected my practice. You use your laptop so much and that was like the biggest thing that I got uh, that was stolen from me and all my work was on my laptop, like all my essays, all my notes. Our target student property is because I know there's a lot of electrical goods in there. It's easy to gain access to certain properties via windows. I target students because local to the area where I'm from, it's easy money to sit about on laptops all day in parks. Burnage, Witherton, Fallowfield generally was littered with, with student properties. Most of the time there's a few people living there. It's not just one bedroom, there's a few bedrooms. And there's guaranteed a laptop in each bedroom. Leaving a window open, you know, when you can't be bothered shutting them, it's, it's, a, it's a big change because one person only has to get through that window and then you're letting the, the whole house suffer because basically if one person gets through a window and that person opens the door, four people are in their house. Before you know it, the whole property has been cleared. Property I would like to take from students is laptops, phones, camera recorders, cameras anything what I can make money on straight away basically. The best property to take from student properties will mainly be electrical products such as cameras, phones, TVs, laptops. I'd know what a student house is by just looking at it, hopefully I, sometimes 
You just know it's a student's house, just the way the, the way the house is. If the curtains were a bit scruffy or the blinds were a bit snagged, and also there'd be a considerable amount of uh, beer bottles outside the property, so that's a bit of a giveaway. I wouldn't rob somebody if there was in a group or if there was loads of cameras about, if not have anything which I didn't think I could make any money off. If it, if it wasn't on a if it was on an area where it's all lit up and everything, strong and secure windows that had put me off from burgling a certain address and also an alarm system. Me and my officers are going to do everything we can to look after students for their time in Manchester. But sometimes it's about the decisions they make. They've already made a great one by studying in Manchester in the first place. They just need to take time now to think about some of the decisions they make during the next few years. As a parent, the best advice I can give to not only my daughter but any other student is to make sure that you're aware not only of where you are, but what you're doing and who you're with. Keep each other safe. If you see your friends thinking they're going to wander off on their own, don't let them. However good a time you might be having, go home with them. It might just be the difference between whether they become a victim or not. I think the advice I would give to students to prevent them being a victim of crime themselves is just to be vigilant about your stuff at all times and just don't let your guard down, I think. is. I mean, you've got to enjoy yourself and not be paranoid about it, but you've just, just always think about it with your stuff and when you go out. Make sure every door that's supposed to be closed is closed because um, there is a reason that it's closed and it means that people can't get into areas where they can steal something. Know your limits with alcohol and just to keep safe. Just generally try to keep a grip on things and realise where you are and what's going on. Keep everything locked. Uh, if you've got blind on your windows keep them down so people can't see in. The advice that I'd give to students now starting this year is to secure the property as much as you can. Keep the electrical goods away outside, lock all the windows and shut your curtains and stuff so no one can look in your house. Cash points, try, try not to use them if you're on your own or if you see people standing near them or whatever. If you see people hovering about then just be more careful. Remember these three key points. Help us to help you. When you go out, look after your mates and know your alcohol limits. This is a really safe place to be. Greater Manchester Police will do its part. You need to do your part. Lastly, enjoy Manchester. It's an absolutely brilliant place to be. Good luck with your studies and thank you for choosing Manchester.